going on guys, hope you enjoyed a little promo video that is a shot at a local uh, barber slash hairdressers uh, here in Horn. And believe it or not, I actually done that video for free. Now obviously, you, you know, you're going to be thinking like, why on earth would you go through all that effort and all that time to make something and not get paid for it? Well, uh, by doing this for free, like by creating a promo video for them for free and actually like not for it in return, uh, a few things are going to happen or have already happened. Firstly, I now have like the social proof to show other people and other companies or even the owner of the barber that I am good at videography and creating edits and promo videos. I'm getting better at like creating videos, uh, making edits every single day. But if no one knows I'm good at it, no one's going to like use my service or no one's going to pay money for it either. Secondly, I have now also built up rapport with the owner of the barber to to like use my services in the future or like pay me for like more videography projects in the future or maybe even do social media marketing for them. Uh, basically what I have done is I have given them like a front end offer on my value ladder. So I've given them like a little free video and then maybe like next time I'll do like they'll ask me for another video and then I'll charge them for it and then maybe somewhere along the line I'll offer to improve their website if they've got one or maybe build them a website if they haven't and every single time I will get them up on my value ladder I'll keep providing more value than the time before and I will charge more every single time and that is basically it's called a value ladder and every single time you provide them with more value you can uh, charge more for it but it all starts with that initial front end offer that little small offer uh, that you give them for like next to nothing and then from there you, you build up your value ladder anyway back on topic i've got the social proof i've built a rapport and thirdly i also now have a testimonial that i can use to get bigger clients so basically by creating a free promo video for uh, the owner of that barber he is now basically like a sort of ambassador for brand Panier. so any other time like someone's coming up to him and said who, who made that video he's going to vouch for me and say like oh uh, this guy uh, has done it under the name brand Panier. you know uh, this is what he can do he can offer you the same thing he knows the quality of my work and he can confirm that i know my shit when like another company asks like about my expertise so the take home point for all of this is that when you're starting out or when you're just getting started building your own brand uh, building your own like company or starting like this uh, service the best thing you can do and the quickest way to to make money or the quickest way to get your name out there is by doing stuff for free initially the more people you can help for free the more people People will vouch for you when asked about your services and the more social proof you will build up if you can provide something for free to five companies for example and all those five companies you know five more companies or the owners of five more companies then there you go there's 25 owners of companies that know about your services and out of those 25 companies there is definitely going to be someone there who's going to pay full price for what you are offering and this doesn't only apply for like uh, digital services or like online services like I read in uh, Russell Brunson's Expert Secret it's both like the book I'm reading. If you follow me on Instagram story, you must have seen it. Uh, like come on by on my Instagram story at one point definitely because I've been like raving about this book for a while but anyway uh, like one of the little paragraphs is about doing stuff for free as well and providing like free value and it's about uh, a person who is really struggling to get a job and they've sent like loads of application forms out but no one's like really replying so uh, in the end the person gets like fed up and just walks into like the shop that he really wants to work for like out of all of the application forms he's filled out and sent out uh, like the the one shop he wants to wait for the most he just walks in and sees this pile of clothes that's like all messy and he just goes to the owner and goes like do you mind if i clean that up for you and like the owner's like why you know you don't work here and, you, and the, the kid just goes well i want to you know it looks messy you know i don't want anything for it can i just clean this pile up for you and he does like they, they let him and he just cleans the pile up and he stays for like another few hours he cleans up you know um like neat and tidies up some stuff and then he says thank you and leaves and obviously the owner's like oh, that's random that but you know the owner's made up he's got like uh, a clean store and you know the kids on his way again without asking for anything in return and a few days later he comes back and starts doing the same thing like he starts cleaning up again and then the owner actually offers him a job like he goes like would you like to work here you know obviously you know your way around the store you can add see you're cleaning up and you're doing a good job would you like the job and by providing like value up front by giving something for free or doing something for free uh, he has uh, built up rapport with the owner, he's got the social proof, like he can, like the owner can see that he, he can do the job and like basically because he's built up rapport, the owner feels like, it's like a sort of ethical bribe, the owner feels 
obliged to take him on because he provided the value up front. Anyway guys, like random rant again, you know, uh, I actually do enjoy doing little rants like this. I think like I do provide value with this. Uh, I do get a quite a lot of DMs uh, on Instagram saying like, you know, did you enjoy my videos when I do stuff like this? But anyway, hope you got something out of it. Take home point is if you want to do something or if you want to start something or if you want to uh, like offer your services, then offer yourself for free for a while. And then, you know, you'll build up uh, social proof and people will uh, take you on like for paid services later on. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it. Comment down below like what you've done for free initially and then got paid for after a while. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the little bell so you get a notification every single time I upload. Follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.